One of my favorite psalms from the Bible is Psalm 42. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. The psalm goes on to speak about yearning and the psalmist wonders why they feel so heavy and downcast. They remember their story of long ago when they were in Jerusalem, part of a great multitude of people celebrating in festivity and now they're far from home in exile and they're feeling downcast. That sense of longing for home is very much what we've been thinking about this Christmas time here in Leicester Cathedral. I'm sat in one of the chapels in Christ the King in an installation created by our friends from John Lewis. Homecoming is a very important idea as part of our Christmas celebration. And yet, unlike a shop or a department store, the Christmas story, as told by the Christian faith, isn't about us creating so much a sense of home as more God coming to make his home among us in a baby in a stable in Bethlehem. And you remember, of course, Jesus says that he goes to prepare a place, a home for us as well. Yet, day by day, as we welcome people to this cathedral, I see how, as we offer hospitality, we open a window for people to see what it might mean for God to come to them. I see it as we welcome class after class of children and they come in uncertain, but they leave feeling as if they belong. I've seen it as we've baptized an asylum seeker from Iran, as they come to be part of God's family and they belong. I saw it most movingly at springtime when Her Majesty the Queen handed those Maundy pouches to people who for decades have served others. And in that moment of recognition, they feel as if they come home. I see it in our choristers who literally find their voice because they come to belong in this place. All around the walls of this installation are messages messages from the public about what they think home could be and prayers that that might become a reality. We hope and pray that this Christmas you too will know a sense of homecoming, even a sense that your worst fears can be embraced and transformed by the gift of love coming into our midst in the birth of Jesus. God made his home among us and we have seen his glory. Whatever your circumstances might be this Christmas, we pray that God might meet you and offer you a sense of home. A peaceful and happy Christmas to you all.